Hello, it's Giselle from Kids Yoga Stories, and today I'm really excited to share with you our brand new Exploring Emotions in 10 Minutes a Day. We asked our community of teachers, parents, health practitioners from around the world what their challenges are in working with young children right now. And we're hearing about meltdowns, explosions, anger, frustration, a lot of worries, a lot of stress. There's a lot of big emotions going on right now. And what we're hearing from you is you're looking for different ways for children to explore their emotions, to get things off their chest so that they can learn to self-regulate and cope with what's happening right now in the world and build their resiliency. So here we are, we created this resource exactly for that so that you can find different ways for children to express their emotions. So one of the good things about this uh, document is a PDF. So there's no zip file, it's one PDF. There are over 80 pages here in the Exploring Emotions. You can print it right away. You can, uh, in black and white or in color, I got this done at a local printer, so I got it binding included. You can have it bound or not. You can just see it from your device, whatever works for you. So let's have a look to see what's inside to see if this is a good fit for you. So it starts with some tips for using this pack. So there's a little outline, some tips for success. Here are two pages of that. And then we have a where to start. For each emotion, there's 10 emotions. We have a combination of mindfulness activities, meditations, breathing exercises, and yoga pose flows. Because all children are different in a way that they might prefer to use movement. They might prefer to use their breath. They might prefer mindfulness activities. So it depends on catering to each child and what is best for them. For example, my daughter has a lot of uh, trouble with managing her emotions, but she's not a talker. So she would prefer to use her breath or to use movement. It's not something she, she doesn't want to admit that she has these issues right now. That's where she is right now. So for her, these, all these different kinds of activities are helping her to express her emotions in a different way. So don't worry if these techniques don't work right away. I'm just giving you lots of different ways so you can trial and error what works for your, your children. So have a look here. We've got 10 different emotions that we're looking at. Emotional, overwhelmed, distracted, feel bad about themselves, sad or lonely, like they're going to explode, anxious or worried, like I need to get my wiggles out, so hyperactive, scared, stressed, and angry. So we've got these 10 emotions. And under each emotion, we have four different activities, which includes, like I was saying, with the, the movement, mindfulness, breath, meditation. So under each one of those, you've got four different activities. And, I, and there's different ways to do this. You could do this if you're in a, a group of children, a small group, you could be doing, okay, this week we're going to be doing, working on when you're feeling scared. And we're going to do all four of those activities and see which one resonate with them. Or you might have the children actually look at this and say, here's how I'm feeling. Here's how I'm, how I'm feeling. I'm going to look over here to see which activity might be suited for me. Okay, so you've got this overview. Here you've got an overview of all the emotions and all the different activities. Then we go further in. Then you have an overview under each emotion. So there's four activities per emotion. Four activities per emotion. So for example, under emotional, you can listen to the grateful draft. You can practice emotions yoga poster. You can practice walk it, feel it, a mindfulness activity, or listen to a ha happiness meditation. So let me show you those. This is printed two to a side, but you can certainly do it one to a side, whatever works for you. So here we are here. You've got a link to listening to The Grateful Giraffe on YouTube. So again, a mix of yoga poses, meditation, mindfulness, and breath. And here's your emotions yoga. There's your poster for that. Then your mindfulness. And you could read out the happiness as they are coloring. And then we work on sadness. Okay, and you've got all the four activities to do with that. Okay, so the main thing is it's printable. They're easy to use. This is all about making your life easier. So you've got these four activities per 10 emotions. It's printable, easy to use. And we really hope that these are going to offer you 
easy and fun ways to explore emotions in a different way. You know, they might, it could be one thing that makes all the difference. You know, when the child is angry, you know, doing hip opening activities might be just the thing to, to make all the difference or hanging upside down might help them change perspective or taking a deep breath in a moment where they're frustrated. You know, you never know what's going to really plant a seed for these children into next week, next month, next year for the rest of their lives. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. Giselle at kidsyogastories.com. Thank you so much for being a part of our community.